I really did not expect to be moving again this year, but sometimes life throws wrenches at you. You gotta weave that shit. Okay, so here's to a new chapter, moving back to LA after nearly a decade of being away and living in different states and Vietnam even at one point. And yes, I know to some, this might seem so unconventional and so unstable, which 100% it is, but I don't think my 20s would be so full of experience, life lessons, rich stories, and diverse friendships if it weren't for everything that unfolded in my 20s so far. Obviously, at this time of making hard decisions that'll ultimately help me grow as a person and learning to let go of self-destructive attachments, leaning into the unknown, it was all mushy and emotional and challenging to say the least, but in hindsight, it was all worth it. Good morning you guys, it is 8 a.m. and I am in the thick of LA traffic. And you know what? I'm actually very excited to be back in this LA traffic situation because I'm like, what a perfect opportunity to talk to you guys. It's like carpooling with a friend. Segment name, still figuring it out. Traffic talks, traffic with Tammy, so basic. Oh well. Right now I'm headed to an event with T3. Thanks to Miss Glossy, Gloss House. Thank you for getting me out of bed this morning because I really, really just wanted to have a rot day. It's been so f***ing hard to get out of bed, you guys. Usually I'm a morning person too, but when you're going through some shit, the last thing you want to do is get up out of bed and face the day. And so this morning we have something to look forward to. It's only been Thursday, Friday, Saturday. It's only been five days since I moved to LA. That feels insane. It feels like it just happened, but also it feels like it happened months ago. It's just been a really dense couple of days. Time has been going fast. Time has also been going slow. Anybody else on the file that needs to be added to the line of contact? So on this day, I had to move to LA immediately. I was making phone calls left and right. My brain was going a million miles an hour. Figuring out the move in 48 hours proved to me that anything can happen if it needed to. Yeah, I'm excited. <laughs> mm -hmm. You're right. It's great. <laughs> So I don't know how I'm processing it, but the world continues to spin despite the fact that each of us are going through our own little storms. My furniture still hasn't come in yet. It's gonna take another week, I think. So we're roughing it out for another week. I made it to LA. It's been a long, two weeks. I think you can hear it in my voice. I'm so exhausted at this point. I just got coffee. I like this little life type of joy. Ha! Thank God I like this little life. I'm parked in the loading zone right now, so I probably should go. I need to go to Target right now to get an air mattress and a few things. And then we'll go see the new apartment. It feels so weird to be back here. And it feels so good. It feels so good to be back here. We're starting a new chapter, you guys. I had to let go of a lot of shit and uh, everyone's telling me how good this is gonna be for me. And I truly, in my heart of hearts, believe that. It's just so hard to get out of the comfort zone, you know, from what I've been knowing and using as like a shield almost, but it's been stagnating me. And I'm just like, F it, it's time. The universe gave me a, a huge catalyst and we're gonna navigate it, starting over. I didn't mean to turn this into like a whole speech. But I gotta go. What is interesting about, like, actually objectively more interesting? They'd be funny as hoes. Yeah, that's true. Or, or are they just my friends? Or, or do I just not like the same things? Yeah, and we like the same yeah. things as them. The aspect of, like, doing something creative publicly that some people are uncomfortable with. Uh, that's actually something I'd like to explore because. Honestly, not been taking care of myself as I should. I mean, granted, I should have a little bit more grace with myself. That's just the truth of it. I'm not gonna sit here and be like, I've been feeding myself as I should, you know? I say that as I drink my coffee. 
I've only been having one coffee a day though. The balance of keeping busy and then also having reflective time to myself while going through what I'm going through is so important. In the past, I would just fill my time. I would just fill my time with either company or things to do, deep dive into my business, which is great, but then all the emotions would swell up and hit me later at moments where I don't expect it. Also, on top of that, unresolved issues of why things happened the way it did and bad habits and bad patterns, they just pop up again and again. So I think it's really important to, you know, have those days where you don't fill up with a bunch of things to do. That was me yesterday. I literally cried in Daiso. I just needed it just happened. I don't know. But shout out to Celine. She like called me immediately when I was spiraling in the stationary aisle and I just let myself feel it out in the middle of Daiso while little kids were walking past me and I was just sobbing. But it's a new day. It's a new day and it's gonna be a good day. LA weather, I can't be mad at. I walk out and I'm just I'm like things things are gonna be okay. This is January. Okay, you guys, this is the end of January. Usually, I'm bundled up in five sweaters and making my way through dirty, slushy snow with groceries. Yeah, those character developing days are over for me and we're moving on. There's so many people on motorcycles here. I bet it's so fucking badass to say you have a motorcycle and ride it and, you know, do the whole motorcycle thing, but it is so dangerous. My friends who are in healthcare, they're always saying how many motorized vehicle accident cases they get in a day and it's insane and the injuries are also almost irreversible most of the time. Yeah, after hearing those testimonials, I was like, my motorcycle dreams will stay dreams. Maybe I'll ride out one day, but it'll never be in the middle of traffic like this. It will have to be... It would have to be like on a dedicated motorcycle pathway. If it's safe enough, I'll do that. But I just can't imagine riding out in, oh my gosh, another one? Y'all are crazy. Ooh, another thing that I'm currently working on that's keeping my mind off of things right now is my website. And I can't wait to show you guys. Thank you to Squarespace for sponsoring this portion of the video. Y'all are making this possible for me, for us, because you get a 14 day free trial first to play with everything, see what you like, see what works for you and doesn't work for you. There's so many templates to go through whether you're starting a small business whether you're starting a creative outlet for yourself like for me I'm gonna start off with blogging and my writing I write a lot and I really want to showcase it I'm into writing essays that is my late 20s it's the best way to organize my thoughts on things and to get my point across without any interruptions interruptions can come afterwards y'all can always criticize what I have to say that's what it's there for for conversation but anyway back to Squarespace it's an online platform that makes making websites which is usually very very difficult but they've simplified it down to make it super easy super intuitive and super adaptive to whatever direction you want to take your website in because we're always changing I feel like my lash business relied on Squarespace's booking services and it was super reliable which was probably the reason why my lash business worked out so well because of Squarespace's organization a category that I do not proclaim to be proficient in at all. Even just playing around with the idea of the website as you're clicking and dragging around, it can start something pretty great for yourself. So if you guys are curious, you guys can check out my link down below. And then whenever you guys are ready to launch your website, you guys can use my code TAMI for 10% off of your own website or domain. I guess this is normal here. She did this with a curling iron. It looked like I got a perm, you know what I mean? We did it with this size right here. I don't even know where to begin because I didn't know I was moving to LA until two weeks ago. Two weeks ago, something happened, okay? Honestly, I'm in no place to talk about it and if I'm going through something, especially something so heavy and life-changing and kind of dramatic. I mean, I'm already dramatic as it is, but it was definitely dramatic. So blindsiding and I'm still processing it. Like I'm in therapy for it. I have my random moments where I just burst into tears like in Daiso yesterday. And so yeah, I just don't think I'm in any place to like talk about it or be so enlightened about it. Anyway, the point is, is that all of this got figured out within two weeks. While I was trying to process everything, I was also like how where do I go? Where do I go after this? Christine told me that there's an opening in her building and I just immediately bought a flight, came to LA, I came to go view this loft and I was like immediately in love. And I think the main reason being is because I'm in a building with somebody that I know and trust. 
We're neighbors. And I feel like whenever I'm in these life-changing situations, friends are really what help me continue to, you know, be a person and have a sense that everything's gonna be okay. And so... <laughs> salt and straw and apparently it's really good. Do you want me to feed you? Oh yes, please. Here, we'll do this later. She bought it for me and she's feeding her. <laughs> this is why we're single. Yeah. <laughs> yeah? Oh my god. Okay, here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Let me laugh this, this one's salty. Okay. Just like us. I love it. Oh my god. Salty and sweet. Yeah. Do you want to try the salt? Yeah. It's um, recording you by the way, just letting you know. <laughs> I put in the application and it was just so stressful because I put in the application on a Friday so I had to kind of wait during the weekend. I didn't want to bother them. But Christine's like, no, text her. Text her manager, it's fine. So I texted her on Sunday and then found out that I got approved. I, I feel like New York has made me super scared of the apartment process because it really is doggy dog out there. I remember one year when I was looking for an apartment in New York for a room actually, I had all my papers printed out because people are coming into these viewings and immediately applying right there on the spot with their broker. And then the process itself is brutal because most of the time you need guarantors or you need to make 40 times the rent and girl, I was not making 40 times the rent when I was living in New York City, okay? I was working for Samsung during the daytime, then nighttime I was running Uber Eats in the snow. So that was cute. That was a good time to, you know, create resilience and I'm grateful for it. But man, I'm just, I'm all over the place right now, but I'm just so grateful that I've decided to come back to LA 10 years later as an adult with some sort of financial grasp. Kind of. We're working on that. To come back with a little bit more self-love, self-respect, something that I had no idea about when I was 20, the last time that I was living here. I was talking to my friends this past four days and I was like, even though I was born and raised here, this feels completely brand new. Last year, I was deep in my healing journey, but it felt like I removed myself from everything and I isolated myself a little too much and I thought that that was the safer option but now I see that it's really a balance of both it's kind of like what I was talking about in the car but overall I say this to say that I'm just really excited for this new journey I don't know it's also a really confusing time for me right now because I'm I'm excited about this new life and I feel hopeful and I feel like different waves of gratitude but then there's also that push and pull of feeling sad and feeling angry and feeling <laughs> unjustified but honestly the past is a past all i can say is that all of this made me a stronger person i'm not the person who i was a year ago two years ago three years ago i can thank her for her service the old tammy it's all led me to this point of my life and uh, i'm just so happy to be closer to my mom to be accessible to her oh my god life is just crazy 2024 really started off strong and I'm not even gonna say anything for this year. I don't know what's gonna unfold. All that I know is that I'm in therapy and that I'm so grateful for the friends that I have here. And it's gonna be a good ride, you guys. Thank you for coming along. <laughs> okay, enough of that stuff. Let's get on to the more exciting stuff, which is the apartment. This is a blank canvas right now and I kind of love it so i wonder how much of my furniture i'm gonna sell and how much of it i'm gonna keep because this is a smaller space than my last space but the management really did good with what space they had like they built a whole loft upstairs and i asked if they could put in the railing before i moved in knowing me getting up and down those stairs i'm definitely gonna roll down so we have a railing for safety purposes i actually have a lot of work to catch up on because my days have been very sporadically productive um lots of rotting days interspersed with going out so i honestly have so much on my mind right now it's really hard to sit down
for like 30 minutes and focus on one task. I don't know if anybody else goes through this, but if you in your job have to task switch a lot, what do you do? For me, I used to use the Pomodoro method, work in 30 to 45 minute bouts, and then take a five minute break. But right now, even that seems difficult. <laughs> I did my nails though yesterday. I went up to Christine's place and did that. That makes me feel put together. Also this hair that T3 did. Rachel, I believe, showed me this technique. I'll try to recreate it later. It's giving Cunty Mermaid. Asian Ariel? Please, cast me Disney. I remember when I left LA when I was 20, I was like, I'm never looking back. But we're here. Time to do a little work and then I have a cooking class later probably be good for me because i have not been cooking since everything happened but yeah Yummy. Yeah, 